People get ready. Hey everyone, Gregory Douglas, the Creative Advisor here. Creative advice for working musicians to fast track their career. And welcome to another how-to episode. There are plenty of ways musicians and bands can make money with their music. Perhaps the most obvious way is through performing and touring. Any given tour might rely upon club, coffee house, and even college performances to generate money along the way. But there are other ways to generate additional revenue that may not already be on your radar. So here are six music money gigs that you probably haven't yet thought of. Number one, college keynote concerts. College gigs are great and arguably the most lucrative gigs in the indie music biz. While college gigs can be a nice payday, they can also be the most competitive gigs to book. But most musicians and booking agents are going after college gigs in the same ways. Through college booking organizations like NACA or directly through student activities organizations. Try thinking outside of the box and consider an educational tie in with your performance pitch in the form of a keynote concert. Perhaps you or your bandmate could talk to the student body about the songwriting process and then cap off your presentation with the performance. For keynote concert bookings, consider contacting clubs and organizations outside of the student activities department. Number two, house concerts. House concerts are still an underground growing trend that they are still met with great resistance by many shy musicians who just feel they are too close for comfort. Is this too close? Whoa. As a touring singer-songwriter myself, I personally give house concerts my golden stamp of approval. Gold. They certainly are intimate, but you can't ask for a more appreciative audience than a house concert audience. They're ideal for solo artists, but they're great opportunities for bands to strip things down for a night as well. House concerts can even be more lucrative than public venues with a $10 to $20 suggested donation jar, as well as the higher level of interest in merch sales that they typically generate. If you're lucky, your house concert host might even make you a home-cooked meal, or even offer their guest room for the night to help you save some dough on the leg of a tour. Number three, virtual concerts. With platforms like Ustream, Justin.tv, Stageit, and even Google Hangouts now, virtual concerts have never been easier to administer behind the scenes. Consider setting the stage at home in front of your computer's built-in camera. Step up your game if you have the right gear to do so. Stageit is specifically for concerts and even has a virtual tip jar already incorporated. But you can also embed some basic HTML code on Justin.tv and sport a PayPal-powered virtual tip jar yourself. Make virtual concerts like these a part of your next crowdfunding campaign. Number four, venue rentals. If you're really ambitious, you might consider doing what Ani DeFranco did to build her legacy and rent venues. This will obviously cost you a chunk of change up front, but you might be able to fast track your way into presenting your band in venues that are more suitable and more preferable than the usual direct booking venue. If you are willing to hustle and make sure that enough people fill the house to make it worth the cost of the venue rental, then you can have your cake and eat it too. Mm. Number five, corporate events. There are always corporate companies looking to book entertainment for various internal events, and they usually have a decent sized budget to work with. Corporate gigs are not unlike wedding gigs in that they are typically background music for attendees, so they may not be for everyone, but they are usually a pretty nice payday in the end. Number six, street performances. For more seasoned professional artists, street performances may seem too entry level, but they don't have to seem that way. Adapting to the new indie music biz model is adapting to fresh perspective on how to sustain a living as a working musician. So this may be the perfect exercise in checking one's ego at the door. I am not playing in the subways, there is no way I'm playing in the subways or on the streets. I am destined for Carnegie Hall. Alright, I'll play in the subways. Street performances can be great new opportunities for fast generating tip money, as well as great new exposure opportunities. Even KT Tunstall still plays street performance gigs now and then. You know, for nostalgia purposes. As always, the real action is at thecreativeadvisor.com, so click on over there right now and let me know your thoughts. What are some other creative ways that you make money performing? Leave a comment and tell us about it. If you like what I'm serving up here, please subscribe to my channel and share it loud with your people. Sub! Want more power tips like this to help fast track your music career? Eh, I guess.
Then sign up for email updates at thecreativeadvisor.com and never miss a beat for more free training and creative incentives that I only share through email. Never underestimate what you're capable of as a creative person. The world needs your creativity as much as you need to create. So rock on with your bad self and here's to your creative genius. Indie Music School is coming up. Want to step up your music career? For more info and free training, go to thecreativeadvisor.com forward slash Indie Music School. PayPal powered. 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 PayPal powered.